Welcome back. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to import a, an image, a photo, and use that as a drawing template. For those of you that are familiar with Illustrator, you've got this wonderful tool where you can import your, your graphic and tell it to place the image, and you have a choice of of different options, but one of the options is setting it as a template. And what happens is that image comes in, Illustrator automatically knows to change the opacity, the alpha, so to speak, by about 50% to kind of gray it out, and then it locks the layer for you. Unfortunately, we don't have that kind of tool natively inside of Flash, but there is a workaround. So let's take a look at how to do that. Go up to File, Import, Import to Stage. I'm going to get my photo of my baby one more time, and there he is in all his wonderful glory. Now, those of you that are a little bit familiar with the way that uh, Flash works, you're probably already starting to take a look at the Properties panel and look for, you're looking for the Alpha setting, which is the opacity. If you notice, because this is a bitmap, we don't have any of those settings available to us. Rats! So what's a girl to do? I'll tell you. What you do is you need to convert your bitmap image into a symbol. So simply go up to Modify, Convert to Symbol, and I'm going to name this as Baby. Leave it as a graphic, that is just fine, and click OK. Now our lovely color effects come up. You can scroll down, click and scroll down to Alpha, and I'm going to take that down just a little further. That looks pretty good to me, around 30-ish. Eh, just play with it and see what works the best for you. Then, if you would like to lock the layer, you certainly can. Come up to the timeline and just simply lock that. Add a new layer on the top of that, and you can start to color and go around with the outline. So, there's a way for you to work with a real photo to use as a drawing template inside Flash. I hope you enjoyed it.